Namatas mean market of the holy name. Just like you have Sabji, Mandi. There are many uh, societies, spiritual societies, especially in India, which are based on the Vedic literature. Um, now, our society is also based on Vedic literature, but uh, um, it is the uh, teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that are very important for us. The teachings of the Sankirtan movement. Sankirtan movement, Harinam Sankirtan, is the propagation of the holy names of Lord Krishna. So we are living now in Kali Yuga that started after the departure of Lord Krishna 5,000 years ago. For Kali Yuga, the uh, means of God realization is the chanting of the holy names of Krishna. For that purpose, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made his advent and he disseminated Sankirtan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Um, he started, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started his uh, mission uh, in uh, Mayapur. Mayapur is uh, Navadvip Mayapur in uh, West Bengal. It's about 100 kilometers north of Calcutta. So there he appeared and along with his associates, he started you know, this uh, Sankirtan at the beginning in a private manner, you know, somewhat uh, like uh, um, underground uh, <laughs> movement because some opposition was there from the um, established uh, Brahmin uh, community. They, they did not accept the Sankirtan movement at the beginning. So there was opposition. So like this, it grew up uh, from a small beginning. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas at the age of 24. And then he went to Jagannath Puri. Uh, and from Jagannath Puri, again, the movement of Sankirtan developed because all the people from West Bengal used to come at the, on the occasion of the uh, Ratiyatra, Jagannath Ratiyatra. And for three, four months, yeah, they used to stay in Jagannath Puri with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then they had a constant Nam Sankirtan. So that was a spiritual movement that developed at that time. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went throughout South India, including Andhra Pradesh, and uh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Maharashtra, like this. He also started the Sankirtan movement everywhere. Wherever he used to travel, he was uh, encouraging everyone to chant the holy names of Lord Krishna as the only dharma for Kali Yuga. So in this way, this uh, Sankirtan movement started at that time and gradually it developed, you know, slowly, slowly at the beginning. Many books were written to establish the philosophy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That was very important. Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Jiva Goswami, later on uh, Viswanath Chakravarti Thakur, Baladevi Diabhushan, the great Acharyas, they have written a great number of books to establish Krishna Bhakti and the Nam Sankirtan as the religion to be followed. So these books are very important and we are studying them and we are practicing these teachings. So these teachings have come according to Guru Parampara, succession of spiritual masters from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, in this way, uh, gradually, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur in the 19th century, he revived the movement also in a very forceful, enthusiastic manner and established Namhattas. Namhattas mean market of the holy name. 
Just like you have Sabji, Mandi, uh, and uh, you have all types of uh, different markets. So market of the holy name he established. Go in uh, many different villages in uh, West Bengal, like this, where the people congregate and chant Hare Krishna, Maha Mantra all together. So in this way, from Bhaktivinoda Thakur, then Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, in the 20th century, in the beginning, uh, he again expanded the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in very organized manner also. Our Guru Maharaj, the founder of ISKCON, he is not an isolated personality, you know, uh, who started something new out of nothing. There's a very important tradition behind. So he had the order of his Guru Maharaj to preach in the Western countries. That was a new expansion from India, the same teaching being propagated in the Western countries. So that is the contribution of Srila Prabhupada, the founder of ISKCON.